Breaking news at 11, high-speed horror. A Mercedes moving at extreme speed slams into stop traffic. The massive impact creating a deadly fireball, killing six people, including a pregnant woman and an infant. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell live at the crash scene in Windsor Hills with the latest information tonight. Amy. Mark, authorities still working out here at the scene. You can see two of the burned vehicles down the street behind me here. Six lives lost in this accident. And tonight, authorities say the driver of the speeding car that caused this crash is hospitalized with serious injuries. A horrific crash captured on security video. A speeding Mercedes runs a red light and plows into several cars. A massive ball of fire and smoke shooting up. Flames engulfing the wreckage, trapping victims inside two of the vehicles. Three adults, including a pregnant woman and a toddler, initially declared dead. Tonight, investigators finding a sixth victim inside one of the burned vehicles. Shocked witnesses say some of the victims were thrown from cars. I've seen a, a young lady that was running into to the service station with a child dangling in her hands. Then you've seen the child's seat here, and then you've seen the other little child that was laying in the street. Shocked and grieving relatives gather near the scene of the crash at the intersection of Slauson and La Brea. The CHP says six vehicles were involved in the fiery collision. People living and working nearby say it sounded like an explosion. It looked like the whole intersection from corner to corner was on fire. A lot of sparks from like electricity. Once the smoke, the fire kind of went away and electricity and kind of the boom and left. I realized that it was two cars there. You can see the people on fire and that's just sad, you know. The 40-year-old female driver of the Mercedes was taken to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center with major injuries. Rescuers transporting seven other people, including several children, to hospitals with minor injuries. I can say that the youngest uh, child for the minor, uh, the ones that were character characterized as minor injury uh, was 13 months old and the oldest was, I want to say, 15 years of age, and everyone else was uh, ages in between that. Alfonso Ward was driving on Slauson just seconds away from the intersection when he saw the fireball and witnessed the heartbreaking tragedy. Then I seen the pregnant mother that was laying on the side that was pregnant. Then you seen the child, the baby. Bystanders trying to put out the flames and reach the victims, but it was too dangerous. It hurts. It does because I, I have a grandson. I have, I know people that were kids, and for a mother, to be pregnant, that child didn't, that child never had a chance. A lot of people very upset in this community. Authorities haven't yet said what kind of charges the driver may be facing. Reporting live in Windsor Hills, Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.